thank you very much for joining me. Another recent earthquake there in Iran. It occurred today at 5.49 a.m. local time. A magnitude 4.2 struck southern Iran approximately 7-8 kilometers northwest of the town of Mor in the Fars province. It occurred at a shallow depth of just 10 kilometers. So more than likely it was probably felt over a wide area. 10 kilometers would be about 6 miles. This earthquake was detected by USGS and other global monitoring agencies with slight vibration um, being reported. EMSCs noted it was possibly a 4.6. EMSC may change their magnitude from a 4.6 to a 4.2 because they often follow suit um, of USGS uh, revising these earthquakes to a lower magnitude. Iran does sit on a very active seismic region. This area is part of the Zargo Mountain Fold Thrust Belt, where the Arabian Tectonic Plate is pushed northward into the Eurasian Plate. This conversion often causes earthquakes. Let's pull it out. I got a lot of the faults drawn out, and yeah, a lot of mountains. There was not expected to be any landslides for today's earthquake because it's in an area that they say is fairly flat even though you can see we do have a lot of hills in this area and possibly mountains. Yep, um, EMSC did revise it to a 4.2. I knew they would. I have often seen this happen. USGS does not have a moment tensor ball but you can see with the two recent earthquakes that are on EMSC. Yeah, this was probably a thrust earthquake right there and you can see all the earthquakes that iran gets yeah they get a lot of them don't they while the zargos post major faults capable of devastating quakes there was a 7.3 earthquake event back in 2017 that killed over 600 people this one posed a minimal threat it was also quite a ways from the uh a nuclear power plant that they have by the coast. I do have that marked out. Let's see, that's up over here. Here's the earthquake, and this is the location of the uh, nuclear power plant. As for felt reports, the quake's shallow depth means it was probably noticeable in nearby areas. Residents close to Kairuzabad and surrounding villages may have felt light shaking. Enough to rattle windows, sway hanging lights, but nothing alarming. Social media and other channels show no widespread panic um, on any accounts as of making this video, which is common for early morning rural events. Intensity maps suggest weak to late light shaking within uh, 50 kilometers of this area. So that would be about 31 miles. Um, if you did feel this earthquake, um, please put your comment down below, or you can always post it on the USGS Did You Feel It website, and this will help refine assessments. Um, damage uh, that could have happened, well, they agree that this magnitude rarely causes structural harm. Earthquakes between a 4, maybe a 5, can topple unsecured objects or crack plaster. But in Iran's moderately prepared Fars province, Impacts should be, you know, not very much. No injuries have been reported also. The uh, area's flat terrain also reduce the possibility of uh, landslides. However, authorities are recommending checking homes for minor issues, especially in older adobe structures, common for the rural areas. Aftershocks are possible, so they got to stay vigilant. Um, minor effects could have been uh, cracked plaster in older buildings, fallen small ob objects, or startled livestock in villages near Farzaban. Um, Iran's building codes in Fars province are moderate, yeah, um, but rural structures may have been vulnerable even to light shaking, especially for the buildings that are mud and plaster. This event underscores Iran's vulnerability 
Over 126,000 lives have been lost to earthquakes since 1900. Uh, buildings, resilient infrastructure, and public education are critical, but it's a poor country. And for now, the situation is stable, with no emergencies have been declared. Uh, I'll keep monitoring, um, but always um, be safe, be prepared. Yeah, just another sign of our Earth. Uh, yeah, rocking and rolling. Thank you for joining me. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.